When you have a baby, it's just such a, it's just such a different time. Like everything you you mm -hmm. know, and you need to almost find like people who are going through the same thing to support you. So Instagram was very much that. It's so different now to what it was ten years ago. But yeah, Instagram was a way that you could connect with other mums and just, you know, talk and. And why why is yeah. not like like that anymore? Is is it just harder or like the focus has changed to w I what? Do you I think because Instagram itself has changed. Like they're just not showing you the posts from your friends or mm. the posts that you want to see. They're they're just yeah. You're just it's just changed. Would that yeah. be helpful from a business perspective though for someone who is also targeting clients? It's a uh, it's a hard one. I think it's. I don't know. I don't even know that I'm seeing on Instagram even the ads that I want to see, like, or from the businesses that I want to see that I interact with mm. in my DMs, like, but I won't see their posts. So mm. um, I don't know whether that's just because, I don't know, maybe like, for example, the main account that I'm on is our business account and I follow like 3,000 other accounts. So maybe my account isn't curated enough and I need to pull that back and be like, right, well, these are the 100 accounts that I'm actually interested in. Um, but I think like we were talking earlier, I think it's also like an algorithm thing. Like it's just mm. not as responsive to the way that, I don't know, your interests might change from day to day and you expect things to be quite responsive and work fast for you. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a lot of gaps. I think it's because Instagram is pay to play mm. and it has been for a really long time. So unless you're paying for advertising to reach the people that you want to reach, they're not going to see it. It's just their way of getting you to pay them. Yeah. That's my theory anyway. We, we, we yeah. feel that because for us, it's a bit different. Our product, it's, it's content itself. Mm. Like the content is not there to sell anything yet. The content mm. is the product. So what we find is that when we, like TikTok is just crazy, like it just reaches a lot of people, but you got to get the hashtags right, mm. which is a little bit annoying because for a, a, a platform like ours that praises diversity, you know, we wish they would take those hashtags to the people who are after those hashtags, but it kind of gives you a stamp. TikTok is what Instagram used to be mm. reach wise. Strike yeah. one. No. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah. So right. like we, for the Instagram we're talking about is like you would just have much better reach. And you'd be able to grow, right? Like, cause you yeah. just, you can grow your followers on TikTok as a, if you're trying to be, if you're, if that's what your aim is and you're a content creator, um, it is real. no matter what sort of content you're creating, even if it's perfect for your audience, it is really hard to grow your account on Instagram. So I think you're right. It is, you've got to pay yep. to I get that TikTok. to happen. I'm not like or doing well organized, like posting much properly on it. I'm much more of in a routine with Instagram because yeah. it's been 10 years. Mm. But yeah, TikTok's so much fun. I love TikTok. Are you 